you are here with Tripedal Reviews. Today I'm going to show you how to downgrade your Tonex software. This is specifically pertaining to the application and not the firmware. The first thing that they got rid of in the new version is the date added information display. Now this makes literally zero sense to me because in the new version you can expand and shrink these columns however you like, but they just removed the date option. They do have a sorting option where you can sort from the most recent to the least, but with no date reference that makes that almost unusable. I like to come back every few days and check out new tone models from tone.net, and to do that I go to tone.net and I can see the dates here. So I'll pick whatever day I left off with last, and I'll scroll down to that date. This last time I did it was like December 31st of last year. So I went through and I can pick the date I left off at and then start auditioning anything that's newer than that. If you're missing the date information, you have no point of reference as to where you left off. You just have to remember and then try and find the starting point that you left off at. So that's the first major thing. I, again, I have no reason why they would do that. Even as just optional information you can display, give me the option to see the date. There's no reason you should have taken that off. So the other thing that they screwed up, if you're on the librarian tab here, in the old version, it's got what is on your pedal up here, which is super useful. And then it, you have what's in ToneNet down here, if you have ToneNet switched on. And you can simply click the preset and then drag and drop it to your pedal and overwrite what's on there and then you can hear that preset. If you like what you hear, you can then save that to your library, and you do that by clicking off of tone.net, and then go to preset, and you can drag and drop this down into your library to save it to the library. This makes sense to me because it allows me to audition captures before I actually save them to my library. Maybe I don't want them in my library, maybe they suck. But in the new version, if you're taking a look at tone.net, this portion of the window remains the same, while this portion is no longer your pedal. It pops you over here to adjust amp settings, and there is no window to simply drag and drop from tone.net onto your pedal. Instead, what you have to do is you have to go to tone.net, then you'll click download, which downloads the profile to your library, and you can't audition it on the pedal at that point. Then you would go over to your library. You would then have to remember what you downloaded to the library, what that was called. You would need to search it. You would need to find it. You would then need to upload it from your library to the pedal itself, hear it, then if you didn't like it, you would have to delete it from your library. So you're doing it backwards. You're having to download it to your library, see if you like it, and then remove it from your library. It's just adding extra steps in the process that don't need to be there. And again, in the old version, you can do this all on one screen, where the new version, you have to do multiple screens. You have to remember what you've done. It's a big pain in the ass. So my advice is, if you rely on these features and you use these features all the time, I would not upgrade the software. But if you've managed to find this after the fact, don't worry because there is a way to downgrade the software. And I'm going to show you how to do that next. In order to check the version, you can go over to this icon, click it, and then click Info. 1.5 is the version that got rid of this information. So as long as you're below that, you should be fine. I believe the last update on the 1.2 branch was 1.2.6. So the first method of backing up your Tonex pedal is to come to the Librarian tab and then 
the top here, click the down arrow, and then you can export your library or import a library. There's an alternate method of doing this as well, so you may want to do both. You're going to want to go to your user's documents folder, and then IK Multimedia, and then the Tonex folder. And I would suggest just taking the entire Tonex folder and backing it up to something else. And that way you have absolutely everything that you need and don't have to worry about losing anything. So now we have a copy of it. So we should be able to restore if needed. I'm going to put a disclaimer here. I make no guarantees as to this process working. Follow it at your own risk. So be safe and only do this if you're comfortable in doing so. So this is the new version. We can check the firmware info and we see it's 1.5. So in order to downgrade, you're going to want to go to that same folder that we were in before, which is Documents IK Multimedia. Then go to the IK Product Manager folder and then the Tonex folder. This folder is going to have all of the previous versions of the application that you've installed. So you want to pick the most recent one that is below 1.5. And then you're going to want to extract this archive. And this is going to extract a folder with the executable that we can then run to install the older version. So make sure your Tonex application is closed. And then you're going to want to run this application installer. If it says Windows protected your PC, just click more info and click run anyways. It'll warn you that a newer version is already installed. Do you still want to install the older version? You want to click yes, and then run through the install process. Now when I've downgraded, I have ran into this where it's saying a, one of the VST files, it can't overwrite. I haven't troubleshot why that is, but I also don't use uh, whatever plugin it's talking about. I just use a standalone application, and skipping this hasn't caused any issue. So I just skip the file, and it'll continue. And then you're done. And if you now launch the Tonex application, you should now be back on the older version that you installed. And you should be good to go. So here is the new version. To show you what I was talking about earlier, if you go to Librarian now, your pedal displays in the top half here, and then whatever you click over on the left-hand side displays at the bottom. But the problem is, is this is all local to your computer. So if you downloaded stuff from ToeNet, it appears here. You can create folders. All that is well and good. Most of your search functionality is now delegated to this left-hand side here. But you'll note there's no date added down here, so you can't see when these tone models were put there. Now there is a sorting option. You can click this arrow here and then use date added last to first. And that'll sort so that the most recent stuff is at the top. But again, you have no date reference, so you would have to remember where you left off if you work with this daily. And the last thing, if you go to tone.net like you did before to browse online presets. This is no longer the presets on your pedal. It's just working with the amp. And there is absolutely no way for you to drag and drop onto your pedal from Tone.net. You have to first click whatever the profile is. You then have to download the profile. That puts it in your library. So JVMJS, and then we have to go over here to the librarian. And we have to search 
our library for JVMJS, or it's at the top there. And then we have to put that on the pedal itself. And then we would audition it, and if we don't like it, then we have to go back and delete it from the library. It took a simple drag and drop process and made it super complicated.